What's up? What's happening? I'm Chime Time, bringing you back another takeout restaurant review. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the next few weeks, I'm going around trying new and existing seafood restaurants. So, if you have any of your favorite seafood restaurants, please drop them down in the comments below. I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to see who has the best seafood, all right? So, help me out. So, today I stumbled across a new seafood joint, right? And uh, it's called... Yeah, you probably don't know what it's called, but uh, it's called Shrimply Delicious, all right? Shrimply Delicious. I just want to say welcome to the Takeout Restaurant Review, and good luck. So today from Shrimply Delicious, I decided to get the Flounder Sandwich. Now, Flounder Sandwich is $9.99. You can add $4.50 and make it a combo. I was complaining, literally complaining when I ordered this sandwich. However, this is a pretty big sandwich. Let me just show you. And man, it is hot as hell. Just so you guys can see the amount of fish that's on there. Probably about a pound on there, man. It's a lot of fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. And let you guys know how this is. Hot. Okay. So now that I tried about the tartar sauce, I'm gonna add a little bit of tartar sauce on there. I like it. All right, so this particular fish sandwich, man, sets a lot of fish sandwiches apart from this. Reason being is they give you a lot of fish, and this is on a really, really soft bun. The only complaint I have about this fish sandwich is it has, without a shadow of a doubt, zero taste. This can be easily fixed because the fish itself is very juicy. All this fish right here needs a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, of the garlic and this fish sandwich right here would be off the chain and it is worth the price i am most definitely going to rate this fish sandwich high reason being is because i really do think it's underpriced with the amount of fish that's on this sandwich this sandwich should be every bit of about 14 dollars so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and rate the fish sandwich at an eight next we have the okra that's so you guys can see the beautiful okra that's sitting right here in this container man nice little light skin okra right there too the reason why i got okra today ladies and gentlemen is because the last time i tried it wasn't that bad and the last time i tried it was indeed like my second time trying it. This is my third time trying it, so I decided to order it since they didn't have the collard greens. Get motherfucking hint. Again, here is the okra going in my mouth. Okay, so this right here is another one of those things where it just has no taste. The food overall that this restaurant is cooking so far has extremely amount of potential. Probably someone that's inexperienced in the kitchen, but this right here would go good with some garlic herb seasoning. And to be real with you, you really don't even need that. You can just add a little bit of salt and pepper on there. For all this okra being fried, it's definitely fried to perfection. Not oily, it's not too greasy. It has a nice little crunch game to it, you know what I mean? I, I, so, I mean, you know, it had just a little bit more ways to go, you feel me? So for the price of $2.50, I gotta rate the okra at a set. So last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have the po' boy. Now, I am a huge, and when I mean I say a huge, I mean a huge, fan of po' boy, shrimp po' boy, brown of po' boy, ultra po' boy, any po' boy you can name, your boy will try it at least once. This particular po' boy, I have not opened a box, this particular po' boy is $14.99. Off the rip, I'm pissed. I'm pissed because $14.99 for oyster po' boy to me seems a little bit too high. We're going to open this together. Oh! <laughs> okay. Just so y'all can see the size of this po' boy right here. Now, I kind of feel stupid for getting upset now because they told me it was going to be eight oysters on here. When they told me it was going to be eight oysters, I immediately said, this shit ain't going to be worth it. The size of this thing. Let me just take it out and show you guys one more time. The size of that thing right there. Oh, my God. Price-wise, it's worth it already. I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this thing, man. Do I eat it from this side or do I eat it from this side? You know, eating it from the back is probably like the best. <laughs> Y'all minds are dirty. I'm gonna just eat it this way. Just so y'all can see what I've been into it, man. See what I did to the sandwich, man. Simply delicious. You have officially redeemed yourself in all this food, man. All right, so for one, for fourteen ninety nine, this was worth the price, hands down. Even though it does include eight oysters, the oysters are nice and soft. As you can see right there, the Remy Lay sauce on here is to die for. It just makes the sandwich pop out, and it gives the sandwich all 
types of juicy flavors. The bun. You know your boy loves the buns. All types of buns. The buns on this sandwich as well as on the flounder sandwich, they're nice and soft. I love my buns nice and soft. Other people like their buns nice and hard. So these buns on this sandwich and on the flounder sandwich, A1. I can change anything about this sandwich right here. I probably would want the bun toasted, but then again, it's like, no. Because if I had the bun toasted, the bun wouldn't be as soft as it is now. And again, I like my bun soft. So simply delicious, man. Good job on this right here, man. I'm a, man, I'm a smash this. So that being said, I get the fried oyster sandwich at nine. Next, we're gonna jump into the experience. And before we do that, I just want you guys to know, I just figured out I had red remoulade up my nose. Now, <laughs> It looked pretty nasty. And I'm surprised you guys didn't tell me. Oh, I mean, I don't think you guys could have told me, right? Should have looked in the mirror, my apologies, but let's just get on to the experience. So when I walked up to this restaurant, everything seemed to be in place from the outside, the inside, the menu panels. Everything just seemed to me that it was just well put together. And by the way, this place is definitely hiring. So if you need a job, you might want to stop by. Now, I will say this restaurant is pretty small. However, that could be a good thing because we are still under a pandemic. There's two things I did not like about this restaurant the first thing is this restaurant is so small that they have the seating area near the bathroom i did not like that i personally think that's the worst place to have a waiting area the last thing i want to do is smell poop on my way to get my food i'm just saying the second thing i like about this restaurant is this restaurant wasn't the cleanest at least the area that i seen wasn't the cleanest it was crumbs on the chair crumbs on the floor it was just crumbs everywhere however you know they could have been busy they couldn't probably get around to it and you know i give them a break on what i will say about this restaurant is whoever's running this restaurant is doing a great job of teaching the staff how to teamwork or teaching each other how to do things you can tell they were doing the job and you can also tell that they were eager to learn they were all just working together so to these staff at shrimply delicious i just want to let you guys know you guys did a great job Keep doing what you do and uh, keep being yourself. And your boy also forgot to mention that this restaurant has a 99.0 for sanitation. That right there is excellent. So again, you guys, you guys are doing a great job. Would I come back to this restaurant? I absolutely would. This restaurant is a new restaurant. They're just not opening up. They got to get some things together. I'm sure the owner's probably going to work through all the tweaks and stuff like that. I can tell that this restaurant is going to be definitely a great spot to come to in the Greensboro, North Carolina area. If you're anywhere in the Greensboro, North Carolina area, okay, you need to bring your booty on down to Shrimply Delicious. The po' boys here are excellent. The fish sandwiches are excellent. Although they could use a little bit of seasoning, I'm pretty sure by the time you come here, they'll probably have gotten all that together. Restaurants all around the world! We are currently recovering from a pandemic, okay? If you want me to come and to review at your restaurant, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. By the way, I'm getting better plus on Instagram. And to all my fans, I love y'all so much. Thanks so much for the support. Be blessed. Peace!